Hi, good afternoon. Very warm welcome to you. It's Gene from Avstar Observatory. Guys, this is going to be one of two videos we're going to do today. The other one is um, Earth Alpha at a glance, looking at the CO2 levels, atmospheric oxygen, uh, latest, uh, highest magnitude of earthquake, and obviously uh, other thing out of volcanoes that are currently in eruption. And also, it'll have the most recent uh, magnetic pole position on that video, so look out for it. Uh, the reason for doing this video is to try and generate a little bit of uh, revenue for the observatory. Um, I know a lot of you have been following me and have supported a couple of times and um, you know I, I am completely grateful for you that have uh, you know took your time out to do that and um, you know the thing is is that we've come uh, 11 years down this road and this last three months have been very difficult in terms of raising money for the observatory and um, you know if if I was a millionaire you know I wouldn't ask for a coin off of any anyone you know I would support it financially as well as you know devote my time to this observatory we have just to remind some people you know all our own equipment here we've got the only Trimag system that is grain based operational in the world that took two years to develop program and design and build and we have it at our disposal you know we could never have afforded to pay a company to build that for us because you know with all that went into it it would have definitely uh, went straight into the realms of over a hundred thousand pounds you know so it was you know deemed upon myself because of the promise I made to you guys that we would try our best to find a way of tracking the magnetic North Pole migration. You know, it was deemed upon myself to put myself through that learning process of programming, engineering, and electronics and designing it. And we have, uh, you know, a perfect up and running, uh, best spoke uh, piece of equipment there that does it for us. Um, a lot of people say, you know, we should stick more to science on this, but we're always doing science. That's the bottom line. We are always doing science here, and it goes round uh, the clock. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Our equipment is constantly monitoring. At, you know, the resolution of every 3 seconds with the Trimag system every 15 minutes with the other magnetometers that we have here and out in the field. And, you know, again, with the muon detectors, as soon as it has a strike of a muon, that high energy particle, as soon as it goes through that sinkless uh, tuned crystal and the uh, photo, silicon photo multiplier picks it up, you know, it can see it as and when it's happening. And we get those readings back from Canada and all the time from here in the UK and occasionally um, we get them from other parts around the world so you know the bottom line is guys you know I know 2,000 of you will watch this video in the next 24 hours and if even 5% of you made a little effort in making a contribution and took that time out to fill out you know the form of I've, I've tried to make it even easier for people by putting my own bank account details up there so you can make a bank to bank transfer, you know, with no middlemen. It's just straight from your account into mine, you know. And, um, you know, if you're in the UK, that can be done in two seconds on your mobile phone if you've got internet banking set up on there. If you're in another country, you're going to have to, you know, add the IBAN number uh, that is down in the link and also the BIC number. And that will allow you to make an international um, money transfer. Um, the main thing is, is that we do not let all the effort that has gone into this observatory over the last 11 years uh, go to waste and fall by the side uh, like a lot of the things in our lives that are, you know, disappearing at an alarming rate. You know, the important thing is, is that we keep our observatory and we make that tiny little bit of effort, you know, to keep it. And even in minimal funding practice, you know, and that can be achieved just by simply, you know, making that little effort. And no, you know, the PayPal can sometimes be a ball ache if you've never used it, um, you know, in setting it up. 
But once it's done, that's it. You know, it's five minutes literally out of your life. I, I, you know, spent two years programming the Trimac. Many times I'd sit at the computer failing with the program and it wouldn't work, but I'd never give up. I pursued it to the end and look where we are now. Not just the Trimag, we've got magnetometers, we've got muon detectors, oxygen sensors, you know, state of the art electronics, you know, the largest silicon photomultipliers on the market, state of the art, SIPMs, you know, we've got it. We've got the CO2 detector. Um, and we monitor those things that ordinarily we have to rely on other organizations for their honesty. The thing is, is that you know it's coming from a member of a public when it when you get it from me uh, an honest uh, reputable now uh, observatory known in a lot of countries around the world and you know that it is our you know main priority to record the information as we collect it and relay it back to you regardless of what we see and uh, we would like to be in a position to continue doing that. So the bottom line is, guys, is that there is a link there and it would be, you know, awesome if you could take your time out and just, you know, chip in a few bucks here and there. Guys, I'll be back uh, within about six or so hours with the uh, latest geo anomalies that are taking place around the world. And, um, you know, please tune in for that. Till then, guys, I'll say what I usually do. Link down in there in the description if you want to help. I sincerely hope you do. And I'll say what I usually do. Take care of your loved ones. As always, bye for now.